provide us with cut sheets. We've asked them to provide us with cut sheets showing more specifically what those fixtures will look like um, to further ensure their compatibility with the site and that the parking table as well um, be revised to accurately reflect the parking requirements at that site. Is the applicant here listening? Presentation? Good evening, Commissioners. My name is Chris Riley, and staff, I first want to say thank you for working with me during this process. It's been a pleasure. Um, as Travis said, uh, I am proposing new, well, not proposing new ownership, but proposing a new business uh, here in Gardner. Um, there are some things that I agree with Travis, the staff, that I love to work with and get taken care of. Uh, there's some things that we all need to agree upon, such as the split rail fence. Um, my architect and I, we're just trying to keep with the elements, with the arbor, with the fence, and all that, and there's really no elements downtown of a fence. Um, but I am open to any suggestions, um, <laughs> because, as Travis said, I, I, I do want to have some lengthy time to uh, secure that drive-through because that is timely and costly. Uh, so any security, safety, fencing in the was that that be north uh, the front of the building is my main concern and also um, so I'm open to that. There is one error. I want to point out, though, um, on the site plan, and I told my architect, respectfully to architects, they don't always listen. Um, I mentioned this to staff in the beginning, that there, between myself and New Century, there's a three-foot drop, and I would like to have that privacy fence continued there as well, excuse me, there as well, just safety purposes. Um, as this is going to be open a lot to the public, I don't want a 5 or 85 year old uh, falling off that drop. Uh, so I'd like to propose right where on the left hand side the planters are. If you go up and down, there's a 3 to 4 foot drop right there. That fence should extend upward uh, where then it tapers off. Um, to grade, and so just safety purposes, I like to extend that fence that way. that way. Or another, any other suggestions to have the safety there? <laughs> um, but other than that, um, the AC units, the vents, I'm even willing to remove them because uh, they are an eyesore. This is no longer a restaurant. Um, so I want to take those elements out. Um, I think that's pretty much it. And I will be honored to ask, answer any questions if anybody has any. I have some questions. Yeah. Um, I'd love to see the little AC unit removed. I have a quick question about the parking. Are you going to, if memory serves, when you pull around to the back of the building where you're going to put the parking, mm -hmm. it doesn't it go from asphalt to gravel? No, it's all asphalt now. I okay, believe so it was asphalt, about eight gonna... months ago, okay. uh, the previous owner and tenant asphalted the back half. Okay. Um, if funds were available, I'd re-asphalt and make it a little bit more level, um, but it's not the best. But that could be a future. Experience. I'm just glad it's asphalt and yeah. not gravel. Yeah. Um, also, the, the split rail fence, am I to assume that, okay, you're going to have produce and plants? Yes. Perhaps, so am I to assume that the split rail fence, you also want it to 
because it is movable. Do you, are uh, you wanting it so that you can change? Um, uh, we, we, the staff that we've tossed ideas about this. I'm okay, make it permanent. I'm okay oh, to, you are? okay. Yeah, I, I'm all right with that. Um, I said temporary because I didn't know if they would be wanting to make it permanent. When it said temporary, I thought it'd be because you're moving it around for your display. No, no. Area. You open nine months uh, for sales. Gotcha. Um, that's produce inside. That's all local. Uh, that'll be flowers, uh, where it says outdoor, supply, uh, outdoor display. That'll be also under the proposed awnings. Uh, for the shaded plants and all that. Um, so if it's pumpkin time, we have pumpkins right. and mums. Christmas trees, we'll have Christmas trees as we did this winter. Um, it, 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 with the split rail, I am fine to make it secured. I am just running it out of ideas or don't have ideas for material. We set a split rail just to keep the same elements of the wooden fence, the wooden structures that we will be building, and even the wooden fence that's existing there. Mm -hmm. So, and there's no, if, if memory, if please interrupt, if it's not, I don't think there's any existing fences in downtown for businesses rather than it being a residential, as Travis said, on the south side, there's residentials. I personally don't have a problem with split rail fence. It's a, it sounds like it's a nursery and Produce right. I think as you revitalize downtown, though, you're going to want more of a look and feel, but I just don't think we're there yet. But we have to be totally thinking about, you know, long term, too, of what we want downtown to look like. I mean, is it would it be unheard of to let him put in the sense that they want, but as we revitalize downtown, that you would address that at a later time? or Let me try to address that. Um, once that. Once they get their building permit and they get a certificate of occupancy, um, that's really the city's opportunity to enforce any requirements. It's not that it's unheard of to try to enforce requirements later. It's just difficult to do that. Um, it, it's not very effective to do it that way. It's not like you can't do it, but. So it, it, the cleanest way to do it, if there was going to be a, if, if there's a desire to use an alternate, alternate material, if, is to have that done with this project. And Does with, the staff have a recommendation of material for downtown as far as fencing? One alternative that we've was suggested to the applicant um, would be like a wrought iron, um, something potentially I suppose you could use some type of brick element or stone um, similar to what he's using in other portions, but. I, I had a question kind of about that and I'll, first I'll start with your, your fence there. I did notice where you had that planter shown on the. Yep. Is that something that, you know, like, could you just ex do a full length planner there? Like, is that going to be high enough to keep, you know, I'm assuming you kind of want a wall, sort of. Correct. And then that's just reason, because for the last, I mean, forever, that's been an access. Never, but, I mean, when we had Christmas trees, we had people pull in there and almost hit the Christmas trees. So, yes, I want a barricade. Um, if you will, but um, I believe in codes, I cannot do that the full length. I have to stay 10 feet away from the existing, from the property line, um, whatever the next building is, if that's true. I think that is in relation to the building codes as far as structures. Okay. Um, as far as, um, setbacks, there's no setbacks in that district. So if, okay. you, if you wanted to make a uh, planter bed that would extend that full length, as long as it's not considered a structure, that mm -hmm. would be 